Good morning and welcome to Women on the Move Live. I'm your host, Kim McNair. You know, this show is for women who are in business, women who are pace setters, women who are making moves in the community. So you know what? I need you to call a friend, tweet a friend, hit them up on Facebook and tell them Women on the Move Live is on the air. My guest today, wow, she is a celebrity stylist. She hails all the way from New York City. Ladies, welcome. Men, are you watching? This young lady styles the queen bee. Yes, Beyonce. Put your hands together for Miss Raquel Smith. How are you? Oh, great. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad to have you. I'm so glad to you be like here. You like the intro, girl? Yes. I was trying to do it. You know, I was trying you to make a production. That. You did that. <laughs> <laughs> great job. I'm glad you're here. You look yeah. fabulous. Just styling and profiling. Go with that 14 carat. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all right. All right. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Raquel, you are a native of Georgia? Yes. I'm it's a, a peach in there? It's a little peach in here. Well, tell me about that. Yeah, I'm a peach. Um... I moved to New York, though, uh -huh. when I was raised by my mom and my dad. I got siblings, sisters. They act, they all act like my mother, but I love them <laughs> all. Um, very family-oriented. Yeah. So, yeah, they raised me really good in the South. All right, all right. You mm -hmm. took all that South Georgia peach onto the city. See, I I'm, did. I'm from up north. Okay. So, um, you know, I, 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 I kind of did it the other way. I started there and came on South, but okay. it's all good. It's all good. Oh, wow. So you've had a great journey. Yes, I have. I mean, you have a passion, obviously, for, for designing and style. Tell me a little bit about that. So I am a celebrity stylist. But I started out as a radiology technician in the medical field. Wow. But I wanted something a little more. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back to the drawing board, and I came up with fashion. So I went to college for fashion and marketing uh -huh. and I completed the program with a 4.0 average. What? And I looked Spirit. for an internship. So I applied for New York and L.A. It just so happened New York called me back first. So I accepted, packed my things up, moved to New York, and interned with Nautica. Ah. I'm sure everybody knows Nordica. It's oh, a very yeah. good oh, designing yeah. company. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the fellas so, know it nobody else. Right. <laughs> so I interned with Nordica, interned in every department possible. But wow. I fell in love with the PR department, public relations, because they allowed me to help with the fashion shows for Nordica. Ah. So I was like, okay, let me go back to school. Went back to college, yes. FIT. Perfecting that craft. Yes. That's important. You got to perfect the craft. That's so important. Mm -hmm. So went back to college, took up fashion styling, loved it. So I had to find another internship. Okay. I okay. love internships because right. you get hand-on experience mm -hmm. and you work with professional people that love their craft. Yes. So it's easy to learn. Right, right. So oh, yeah. on my lunch break for Nordica, I was I was going through the WWD magazine. Yes, I, oh, I know WWD. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, very popular yes. magazine. Oh, yeah, all the <laughs> and Beyonce and her mother was starting House of on their own designing clothing company. Oh. So I went back to Nordica. I was like, what are the chances of you thinking I could land this internship? Everybody told me to go for it. Mm -hmm. So on my lunch break, I went to Central Park, called House of Darion, spoke to the creative director, and I asked where they seek an intern. She told me no. Oh. So hmm. I went back to work. Okay. Came okay. back the next day. Yeah. And said, let me try again. Yes. Went back to the park, same park, <laughs> same, same spot. Bench, yes. <laughs> called. I said, are you looking for internships? The young lady told me no again. So I said, okay, All right. something can't be right with this because mm -hmm. it's a new company. I know you need interns because we get to do everything for free. Right. So I said, let me try a different approach. So the third day I called back again, took a different approach. I spoke to the creative director. I told the creative director about her. And then once I did ah. that, she was like, oh, yes, we're looking for interns. I oh, see, look and at that. Wow. I landed my internship with Hasa Darion. Interned in every department, loved it, did everything possible. Uh huh. Um, then one day, Beyonce and her mother walked in the office. 
So I was like, wow, this is really real. It's happening. That's right. right. It was destined. On. It was destined. You know, right. all those no's turned into something. Exactly. Now. I couldn't take no for an answer. Oh, no. Something, and I that's just had that ha feeling. And people have to know that. you got to right. kind of progress if you got to be. Because you get a bunch of no's, but then when you get that one, one, that one little window of opportunity. Go for it. Just like wow. I went for it. So they came into the office, and Miss Tina said, I need to talk to you. So I was a little nervous because uh -huh. I was like, ooh, did I mess up in my internship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did get the wrong coffee? Did oh, I no. file the wrong papers? <laughs> I just started start thinking negative. But she talked very highly of me. Wonderful. Said some wonderful things about me, and I was very impressed and so happy that the creative director who I was interning with, Heather uh -huh. Schindler, said some great things about me. Good, good. So Miss Tina was ah. like, we heard a lot of great things about you. We'd like you to... Um, join the styling team for Beyonce because she's about to get busy. So I was like, really? Okay, so I was yes. like, okay. Most definitely. So she broke down what the styling duties would be as an assistant. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, let me think about it. So I was like, okay, I'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> that was so, quick. So <laughs> yeah, I thought about it real quick. Well, 2.2 well, well, seconds. Ooh, that is awesome. And girl. I took the, in, um, the assistant position as a stylist for Beyonce. I moved my way up over the years. It took oh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. to put my work in. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So you got an opportunity to work with Ty. Yes, oh. Ty Hunter. That's yeah. my best friend, my oh. partner. That's my heart right there. Right. So. so you guys, I mean, I mean, look, look at what you've done. I mean, working together, you guys yes. have done so much. I mean, we've seen, you know, the designs, the tours. I mean, everybody yes. in the world, the whole country has seen. And that was, I mean, the work of you guys coming together as a team. As a team. That's, That's important. important. It's important because some people look at you know individualizing things, but you guys did as a team. And now you guys do the Let's Talk tour. You yes. talk to people all over. Yes, it's important that we give back. Mm -hmm. And we get emails and DMs all day. And it's hard wow. for us to answer each one. Right. So I told Ty, so let's do a seminar. Mm -hmm. I want to call it Let's Talk. So we have the fans to come. They ask us questions. We oh, get the great. network take pictures, uh -huh. um, mingle, get to know each other. It's very wow. intimate. Then we bring in our celebrity friends. So it's for hair, for makeup. So it's not just about us being a stylist. Okay. It's a, for everybody, Everything no matter what whole. career you're in, come get inspired. It's all really right. fun. It's very well, informative. Is, I mean, girl, this is great. We, we, <laughs> we, can, we can go all day. But look, I'm going to take a quick break. We're okay. going to take a break, all and right. we'll be right back with more of Raquel Smith. All right. At Just For You, we provide a full range of women's services. We are passionate about providing personalized and intuitive care to help our patients walk through the many phases of a woman's life. We provide preconceptual counseling, pregnancy and postpartum care, well woman exams, and menopause treatment, including bioidentical hormone therapy. We are located at 3976 Highway 42 in Locustville, Georgia. Well, we're back. Gosh, Raquel, this is great. I mean, we can keep going all day. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, they don't even know what's going on off camera. Nah, they good. <laughs> well, look, let's talk about the Raquel Smith collection, your jewelry line. Yeah, so my platform mm -hmm. as a celebrity stylist has opened up so many wonderful doors for me. Uh -huh. um, I started my own jewelry collection, the Raquel Smith collection, totally inspired by my father and my son. Oh, wow. Um, my father passed away in 2012, mm -hmm. so I just needed another avenue to take to get my mind right, yes, come back to yes. reality. Oh, yes, yes. So he sent me the vision of, oh, to okay. start my own jewelry. So I went back to school for that. Oh, look at you! Took this up girl, some jewelry educated, collection. Educated, <laughs> right. right? Took up some jewelry classes, and I loved it. Fell in love with it, and here we are today wow. with my collection. So okay. it's coming out in 2017 of this year. Right. Oh, wow. So we're gonna see you on QVC. You saw it here first. And I'm wearing on a piece today. Line. Oh, ooh, yes. yeah, that piece is gorgeous. Thank you. Wow. So how can we get more, you know, find out more about it or get the jewelry Go line? to my website, RaquelSmithCollection.com. Okay. And you can just take a look and see what I got coming up. Pieces will always come up every time I sketch them out and design them. Okay, so now are they unique pieces? Will it be so, is, is it like, will I have, we all have the same? Or it's going to be limited is, editions. Ah, there we go. See, she knows. Yes, it wants to stay unique. Yes, yes. And also I'm working on somewhere for oh. kids called Kid Rock. Kid Rock. I just Rock. had a casting call here in Atlanta. Ooh. 
over 150 kids. It was wow. successful. Wow. It's going to be very diverse. Um, I partnered up with Tiffany Williams of Eye Candy Creations. Yes. And we're doing Kit Rock, and we're so excited about wow. it. Wow, so, so excited. Eye, so it's sunglasses for children. Yes, that's correct. Wow, that's So the cute. kids want to look cool. So yeah. when, I, when I'm styling for blue, mm -hmm. my son, my nieces and my nephews, they always want to pick up my glasses. Okay. And they're too big. <laughs> So I just felt the niche was needed, uh -huh. and here I am today Ooh, with Kit Rock. Like I see Blue Ivy and, and, and your son. What's right, your son name? Caleb. Caleb on the cover. Exactly. <laughs> with That'd the eye. Now, so what's the ages? Age range for the children? Toddlers up to teenagers. Toddlers to teenagers. That's right, because you do right. see toddlers with glasses and even prescriptive glasses. Right. So would they be able to yes, have that as well? Be, as, as well. Ooh, you and Tiffany doing the thing. We're doing yeah, that. Put it together. Yes. I mean, but that's. But, but you know what? What I love about you, Raquel, is the fact that. You go back and you learn yes. the craft. Of course. And you do it's that important. because it's very important. Some people just put stuff together and they right. just put it out there no. without doing the homework, without doing right. the, the, the back work. And um, and then they can really perfect it and people can appreciate exactly. the product. Right. I'm because, very hands on. Oh, that's good. Yes. Well, I, I can't wait till you can come and get, I mean, I can. <laughs> You can style me up, <laughs> right? You so know, some... and that's you know, and it, and it's all about that. I mean, you know, women, we are stylish people, right? Uh, and, even, and men are too. I mean, yeah. I see some dapper yeah, young some men, men out there. there. They doing yeah. their thing. So <laughs> but, you know, but style is important. In the magazine, you got yeah, we just did, yeah, we just did the cover of Level mm -hmm. Twenty One. Um, from North Carolina, they came and shot us to do the cover. So Ty and I was featured there. We're just talking about our career, how we got started, and it was really fun. Oh, Had a great wow. time. You just, you girl, you on your way. I mean, I you am. already out there, but you know, you now coming into the forefront in a different way. And yeah. uh, just thanks to determination, right? Staying focused and not giving up, and exactly. continue to go to that park that's and right. make that Make a phone call. That that's gonna be it. So when is the book coming out? I, I saw a little something about yeah, a book. Solid as a rock. Okay. Okay. It's, it's my journey, All my right. fashion journey. I'm going to talk about being raised in the South. It's going to be just me. It's all about Raquel wow. Smith. Wow. Yeah, so Solid as I'm a working rock. on it now, so it's coming out soon. Oh, I can't wait. Well, you got to come back here. Of you got to get here. We got to get a copy of that right. and see it. That's going to be a bestseller. I hope so. That's oh, the goal. That's the Number goal. Number one that's seller. Top well, look, seller. You, look, everything you touch seems to turn to gold, including your jewelry. Thank you so much. <laughs> I thank you for thank coming you. and sitting thank with me today. Thank you for having me. And, um, you know, like, again, there's more to come. And yes. let's just keep this going. I, I thank agree. you for inspiring the women. Again, tell them how to get in touch with you. You can go to my Instagram, mm -hmm. RAQ1010, the number 1010. Okay. RaquelSmithCollection.com. Let's talk Tyrock.com. All right. So reach That's out. It. Let they me know. All right. Well, look, we, we just got so much going on, but I want you guys to just sit back because I got some more for you. We'll be right back. Our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living. No home, no health care. So she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives. It's this drive, this compassion that inspired AARP. Today we empower people to choose how they live as they age. We advocate for health and financial security. We strengthen communities everywhere. We are AARP Georgia, creating real possibilities. My next guest today is a wardrobe stylist. I'm telling you, she is phenomenal. I want you all to welcome Miss Morgan Wilder. How are you? Good. Thank you so much, Karen. You glad to be here? I am so excited. I love your curly hair. Thank you. Curls, you know, this, girls this, rock. This is Atlanta humidity sometimes. I know what I'm going to get each day, but, you know, I'm working it out. All right. Thank well, you're you. doing a good job at Thank it. you. Well, listen, you're a wardrobe stylist, uh, and you help entrepreneurs with their wardrobe. Tell me the difference between the wardrobe stylist and that celebrity stylist, because you know stylists. Are right, they, right. That word stylist has a lot of connotations for people, but uh -huh. for me, I love working with everyday women. So it can mm -hmm. be entrepreneurs, it can be business women, women who know that their wardrobe and their image is important, mm -hmm. but they're just not sure how to make that wardrobe image for themselves. So I teach them how to dress for their body, how to dress for their business, their brand, their colors to make wow. a, yeah, to make a wardrobe unique for them. Good. Yeah, I love doing it. I love wow. helping Wow, so women. you go into the home, you go into the closet, you, you, you organize it, do you, do you go shop for them? How I do all it? of that. So the first part, though, is we have to have a conversation. So we have to really talk about what do you want to look like? What's important? What are your goals? Do you want to start dating? Do you want to get oh. promoted? Do you want to stand out in the boardroom? Yes. Are you doing a new photo shoot for your website? You know, what's uh -huh. the goal here? And what do you want people to think about you when they see you? You know, that's really important. You're, 
your clothes say a lot about your wow. image right away. So once I learn their goals, mm -hmm. then we go to the closet. So then we get rid of stuff that doesn't work. So stuff that mm. doesn't fit. When you walk into your closet every morning and you see that those pants from 2012 and you really wish they fit and every morning you feel bad about them, let's get rid of them. You don't, you don't need that in your closet anymore. That doesn't do us any okay. good. Okay. And then we kind of take things that work with you. Mm -hmm. So your outfits, you know, we put together new outfits that you never would have thought of. Take photos so that in the morning the next week when I'm not there, you can see that photo and say, oh, I remember how to do this. Wow. Yeah, so you have your own little okay. mini lookbook. You're gonna do yes, what? exactly. You know, sometimes you have to learn how to wear things differently. <laughs> you know, some people wear the same blouse and the same jacket. Yes, yes. Mix okay. it up. Mix and it then up. we go shopping. So I okay. like to take clients shopping with me so they learn how I'm shopping. Now let me let let's, let me back up just a little bit to give a little backstory. Now, okay. you worked in the in the wardrobe or the clothing industry in corporate America with brands like uh, the Gap, 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 Banana Republic, Old Navy, and mm -hmm. um, also with children's wear. So that helped you to that helped like, me learn the retail space. So that ah. helped me learn how to navigate some of those tricks, some of those tools. Um, learning when things are probably going to go on sale, uh -huh. when, when the clearances, the quality of clothes. That's a mm -hmm. really important thing. Is kind of Sometimes you're paying more, but you're getting a higher quality. Mm -hmm. So it's sometimes worth that investment. When you're looking at seams and fabric and lining, yes. those kind of things that really make your dollar go further, mm -hmm. that's what I help teach my clients. After 10 years wow. in the industry, uh, learning how sunglasses are really, really cheaply made, so don't spend a lot on sunglasses. Oh, Do not spend a lot on sunglasses. Thanks. Or jewelry, oh. that's a really high margin area for companies, so don't spend a lot on jewelry. Wow, mm -hmm. so get the fun stuff. Get the, the fun stuff affordably like, and then invest. So stop walking past Claire's and just go on in there. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> or even, like, yes. girl. Or even Target. Girl. Target has some great jewelry, so wow. those kind of things. Those are some tips that you okay. know where to spend and where to not spend is what I like to teach my clients. Wow, that's Damn great. You're fun. I, well, I need, hey. I, I I'm I'm you you already look great. You don't need me. <laughs> you saw, did I do okay today? You did I great. I did pattern on pattern. You did pattern on pattern. And that blush color is perfect for what? spring and summer season. You are winning, don't even know it. Okay, hey, winning. <laughs> winning. winning. <laughs> that's important. So uh, now, Styles by Stats, that's your company. Yes. And, you know, this is all this comes under that. Yes. Now, would you, because I know you, you like styling for the everyday woman, yes. the, the executive, the entrepreneur. Right. So if you get that call, you know, Queen Latifah said, uh, did a little Absolutely. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Morgan. Hi. I do, but I also, um, I love the relationship. So it doesn't matter mm -hmm. if you're a celebrity or if you're good, an entrepreneur, good. but it's about knowing you. I can't dress you if I don't know you. I don't want to just drop a bunch of clothes off at your house and say, here you go. And that doesn't ah, look like look you or that. feel like you. Look at that. So Queen Latifah, I'm ready to have a new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's good because yeah. people need to know it's about relationships. Because a lot of a lot of styles, or you know, there's people out here that just go. They go to Neiman's, Nordstrom. They right. pulling off the rack, and then they just here you go. They're not really kind of getting into it. Right. And you need to exactly. Or if you go to a store like a Neiman's or Nordstrom's, and they have that personal shop, mm -hmm. it's great for maybe buying things that you wouldn't normally buy. Mm. But if they don't go with stuff in your closet, you're not going to wear it after that event. Right. You're not going to wear it after that one day. So just like your hairstylist mm -hmm. knows your hair, knows what yes. you like, or your body your physical trainer mm -hmm. knows your body knows what your goals are I'm the same way I need to know the entire picture so I can help you really build a wardrobe for your entire life Wow yeah. so every season every, every season closet. every like big event so um, I have some clients who just got divorced or I have some clients who lost a lot of weight some of those big life changes mm -hmm. or when I can really help you as well Wow yeah. now just give us one give, give, give my give my my viewers give the women that are out there that are watching and some of the men uh -huh. just give them a tip something that they color need to Color. We do not use color enough as women or okay. in men. As, color is one of those things that really makes a huge impact. Mm -hmm. People make assumptions based on color. You know, like red is for power and for boldness. A lot of women rely on black because they think it's professional, ah. but that's not really true. You know, a wow. style is professional, not a color. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, you want to stand out, especially if you're an entrepreneur or mm -hmm. a business person. Wear a bright color. I have orange pants on today. You know, like, right. people color. can't do business with you if they can't see you. So really stand out. Oh, put your hands together for Morgan <laughs> Wilder. She done done the doggone thing. She came in here and just, 
did it. I'm trying to preach the gospel. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Well, Morgan, you did great. This is, I'm glad. I, I need more of you. I got to have you come oh, back. I would love to come back. I got to have you come this back. So and maybe fun. we'll do a little, uh, you know, bring a rack in here and show some. We could totally do that for like fall, winter wardrobe. Okay. How to make it apply for your life. She just said it right here. There we we go. got a whole or two. So look, tell our viewers how to get in touch with you. You can contact me at Morgan at Styled by Stats. My website is Styled. S-T-Y-L-E-D-B-Y-S-T-A-T-S dot com. I'm also on Facebook, Styled by Stats. All right. Well, look, we're going to take a break, and I'll be right back. Once upon a time, it's fairy tale BS designed to give us hope. I've had everything taken from me. My home, my family, my faith in humanity. Well, my next guests are two gentlemen who are co-creators of a male grooming line. I want you to welcome Jason and Jared. How you doing? It's great to be here. How are you? Oh, I'm you. great. Y'all look good. Thank you. Smelling so do you. good. So do you. you All look right great. now. All right. Smelling good. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I'm just glad you had time to come and just sit with us. Are you guys from Atlanta? Not originally. Mm -hmm. uh, Jared is from Detroit. I'm from mm -hmm. Tennessee, but we both have been here a little bit over 10 years. Okay. Yes, okay. So kind of what, I mean, you have this grooming line. What, what created this? What made you kind of collaborate and, and put something together for men? Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, initially when we, when I created the line, uh, I saw a need in our brothers to do better maintenance on themselves, mm -hmm. per se, right? Uh, I wanted something that I could put in my beard that would keep it groomed well, uh, keep it moisturized, alleviate my dry skin. So I created something. I created uh, our original formula. Mm -hmm. um, and they, I s gave it to my friends and stuff, and they loved it. And they wanted to purchase some of it. So I started selling wow. it. Wow. So did, was there a chemist so, involved? Do you have to get a chemist? Absolutely. And, and is it yeah. vegan? Is it, you know, I mean, because you hear that now, right? You yes, hear about this do. vegan line. It's got, is it all natural stuff? It's natural, and it's definitely a chemist involved. This isn't just something, you know, we doing out of a, a truck somewhere. Okay. Uh, so we have all of our formulas checked uh, by a cosmetic chemist. Okay. It's all natural. The main mm -hmm. ingredient is shea butter, which is very good for ethnic mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very good for all skin, but shea butter really loves us and mm -hmm. I love it. Right. Wow. Uh, cocoa butter as well. Okay. Uh, so everything is natural. Everything is natural. So with the male grooming line that you have, I see that it, you know, I, from what I was reading, you guys go throughout the communities and, and you volunteer or you kind of mm -hmm. uh, empower men or young men. Mm -hmm. So how is this working to do that, to build their self-esteem and, you know, for, for young men when well, it comes to grooming? Yes, ma'am. Well, one of the things that we identified, especially as young men growing up, mm -hmm. that we didn't learn about moisturization or conditioning our skin. Mm -hmm. Most of our conditioning uh, or moisturization tips came from our mothers or grandmothers who gave us Vaseline or some cocoa butter or something to put on our face and hands and told us to go outside. Mm -hmm. So uh, to Jared's point, when he first created it, it was created out of necessity. You know, so I've worn a beard for over 18 years. Mm -hmm. There was never a product out there that gave me the three essential benefits to help me, uh, give me the sheen, but not be overbearing, mm -hmm. focus on my skin and alleviate the razor bumps. So we teach business principles to young men such as uh, Quentin, which is one of our mentees. Okay. And we, you know, we talk to him. We want to find out what is it that you want to do in life, and then we help them put a plan of action together. Okay. Quentin is now one of the top students at his school, Atlanta Technical uh, College. Wonderful. He also travels with us to trade shows, uh -huh. so he learns how to set up, break down, talk to customers, listen to customers' needs, mm -hmm. as well as uh, excel in, in, in the business arena. So that's how we do. We like more hands-on to teach young men who have an interest in business, and particularly to what we do. So how, I mean, how, how do they receive it? Because they figure you go into an area or into a community, yes. um, and they don't know. They're like, man, I just, you know, I just do my Vaseline. You know, right. I, I just, you know, whatever mom got in the, in, in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, how do you kind of bring them to the point of being able, you, you need to look into this young man. This yes. is, you know, as you're grown, because some, some guys don't. I'm, I'm just assuming, I'm, cause well, I'm a girl. Well, fortunately, go ahead. Yeah, fortunately, uh, guys are now a lot more conscious about their okay. appearance, yes. right? Especially the younger guys, but mm. even the uh, you know the young professional, I should say. Okay. They're wearing uh, clothes that they didn't we used to wear, high-end name brands. Mm -hmm. But one thing up until now uh, that they've been overlooking 
is the hygiene, the uh -huh. dry skin, you mm -hmm. know, and we all know the digits that we that get a little bit drier than right, others, right? right? <laughs> yeah, they don't need to come out of the house uh, dressed to the T with dry skin, right, and, and a dry beard. Right. So a lot of the times they come to us. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. see our um, our display when we're at a trade show, at a college, mm -hmm. at a campus, mm -hmm. and they're intrigued because they have a beard or they know that they have dry skin, mm -hmm. and they want to know what is it about. Um, so they are coming to us. We definitely are there to reach out to them first, make ourselves mm -hmm. available to be seen. Right. We bring them in. So I think we're looking for each other. Okay. They're looking, looking for us. Well, they're that's good. That's them. good. And I mean, so as entrepreneurs, as a businessman, if there's a, you know, what are some of the tips or what's some of the things you can tell someone when they say, okay, we're going to come together, you know, because collaborating is, is important and you guys were able to do that. Mm -hmm. So at, from, a, from a business perspective, you know, what is something that, you know, you can share, you can say right now to a viewer, like, look, this is this is what you need to do. If you're looking to put together this product, this is the number one thing you need to do first. Sure. Well, first thing we would suggest is to properly research your industry that you're interested in and uh, becoming a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be the first thing. Then properly mm -hmm. form, you know, formate your business. So when you, you want to decide if you want to do it as a sole proprietorship uh -huh. or if you want to be a limited liability or so on and so on, you want to make sure that your business is protected. Uh, beyond that, if you are an individual or if you have a business partner, uh -huh. you want to do role defilements. Find your strength and your weaknesses. Wow. Jared and myself, we work great together. Uh, to my, my mom, she like to say that God Stop. brought him to me, and, and he brought me to him. Wow, God brought y'all together. Yeah, I love right. that. Hallelujah. Yeah. And look, at re God. <laughs> look at God. Look at God. Won't he do it? Won't he? Yes, he will. Won't he will? <laughs> and, and, and the reason for that is that uh, Jared, he understands the principles of, of the ingredients. Okay. And, and what they do. My background is business, is marketing, so okay. I understand people. Right. And so we defer to each other when it comes to those arenas. Okay. And so we encourage everybody who, who's, you know, ambitious and who wants to start a business of their own to go out there, do it. First and foremost, mm -hmm. make up your mind as what you want to do. And write then, out a plan and then that's go from right. there. Write it, like, make it plain. Yes. Well, it mm -hmm. smells good. The tropical scent beard conditioner, that's smelling good. Mm -hmm. mm, does it last all day? You have it to does. put it. Oh, it, it does. does. Yeah. And this is unisex. This for this for um, the ladies. You doing a little something for the ladies? Had to. Uh, uh -huh. who, who tested this out? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> over thousands of our patrons have okay. tried. Okay, all yes. right. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Oh, it feel good. Oh. Yes, is uh -huh. this mine? No, it can't be mine. No, so. we, have, we have a gift. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I get something. We okay, some. well, yes. well, this is great. I'm really proud of you guys. Thank I mean, you. respected roots. Thank you. Um, look, you can go to womenonmovetv.com to get more information on what Jason and Jared is doing. Mm -hmm. This is awesome and amazing. I love, you know, of course, we're a platform for women, but I love to see men doing things for the other for, for other men, especially the young men, because they need it. You know, we hear yes. so much negativity. We hear so much in the that's going on in our community. But we all they always seem to miss the things that you guys are doing. Right. Because right. we need to be they need to be well groomed. They gotta get jobs. They gotta mm -hmm. go on and do different things and they need to be well groomed. I'm a mother. I have three boys. They grown, hallelujah. <laughs> but um, it's important because I've I've I went in those rooms. Right. Uh, and I had to check them brothers. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I understand. So, again, I'm proud of you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for coming you. by today. Thanks for having All right. Us. Well, look, guys, I'm going to take a break, and we'll be right back. for tuning in to another week of Women on the Move Live. I want to let you know that this show is being brought to you by AARP of Georgia. So again, I'll see you all next week.